now we have Abby Marks Beal, who is an entrepreneur. Thank you for being on the show, Abby. My pleasure. Thank you. Tell us, what was your first mm-hmm. job and how old were you at the time? Well, I've actually, I had a couple of jobs. One was that I was a newspaper delivery girl, which back then, I, I grew up on Long Island, and so I had a, a route where I uh, delivered Newsday every afternoon after school and on Sunday mornings. That was always the drag, Sunday mornings. And I was, I believe, 13 and 14 when I did that. And then when I was 16, I, I was a short order cook at the local bowling alley at Woodmere Lanes when I was 16. So how did you get your first job at the bowling alley? At oh, the bowling alley? Yeah. Uh, my brothers were both uh, employees there. They bowled um, on their high school team, which I ended up also bowling on my high school team. Mm-hmm. And I followed them, and when they went off to college, they asked me if I wanted to take over their work. And I thought, why not? You know, made money, and yeah. um, it was in a place that I spent a lot of time anyway, so it was a good idea. So were there any transportation mm-hmm. issues? No, no, it was only about a half mile from my house, so I could walk. Oh. Yeah. So was your first job what you expected it to be? Um, it was the paycheck was what I expected it to be. I like the I like the paycheck a lot. Mm-hmm. It was greasy, it was dirty, it was um, I had a lot of responsibilities with like children's parties, like I would come in and not know that there were 40 kids that needed hamburgers and french fries. Yeah. You know, at a certain time plus I had to do the counter, yeah. you know, where where the uh, where everyone sat and and I made milkshakes and all that yeah. other stuff and it was it was stressful at times when people wanted their food and yeah. and I had to do it most of the time by myself. Oh, so, so by yourself, yeah, that's a yeah. good thing. But I learned, I learned. Yeah. It's good responsibility. Yeah. So, um what was your most memorable experience? Me- most memorable was the name that I was called by my boss because I found that I was always finding something to do or I had something to do for school or I wanted to do something else with my friends and so I didn't always come to work. I would I would be responsible but they called me Abby out instead yeah. of because I was never in and not, I was in like maybe two weekends of the month instead of four weekends of the month and so they called me Abby out so that was my name was Abby out so that's what I remember mm-hmm. the most. What did you want to be while growing up as a child? I really didn't have any plans. I just knew that I was going to go to college, maybe be a teacher. I thought about being a stewardess. I had traveled in airplanes before, and so I thought, gee, that looked like kind of a fun thing to do, or maybe a bus driver or a tour guide or something. And um, Then I went to college, and things kind of changed at that point. Did lessons learned from your first job influence your future work experience? I wouldn't say that the newspaper job or the bowling alley job yeah. did, but the third job I had when I was 17 was that I worked for a import company that imported car parts from Mexico. And so I worked as an administrative assistant to this entrepreneur, and I learned all the filing and dictation and organizing that had to be done in an office. And that's what I do now as an entrepreneur. And I have my own corporate training business and I'm, an, I'm a homeopath and I do all these different things and, and I manage everything myself. So it was a really good start to my administrative background yeah. um, in that job. Okay. So if you could only use one word to describe your first job, what would that word be? Well, the bowling alley I'll say is greasy. Greasy. <laughs> but the one that um, I would say that the uh, automotive job, the um, import company I would say that was just enlightening just I learned so much about the world and and how right. business works and and how to do paperwork so enlightening is the enlightening. word all right yeah. so if you if you would uh, if, or if you could actually would you do it over again your first job either at the bowling alley or you know? I don't think I'd do the bowling alley over again yeah. having my kids though is kind of like the bowling alley job where I'm serving cooking and surfing and <laughs> things like that yeah. but um, I would certainly do the um, in the import job it's very similar to what I do now so I think all jobs were useful to me though they all built one idea into the next and so I think every job is is a really good experience for some life experience somehow yeah that's right yeah so do you have any success tips for the people who are seeking their first job just get a job be responsible to it you know enjoy the money put some money away you know spend some money enjoy it while you can Um, But just get experience and not worry that it's going to be the only job you'll ever have and you'll be stuck at, you know, some fast food restaurant your whole life. And maybe you will, and you may become a manager someday, but that's only if you really like it. Yeah. But I think everyone should, I think everyone should be a waiter or waitress Mm. at some point in their lives so that they see what it's like on the other side. It makes you 
become a better tipper too <laughs> so yeah. all right well there we have it abby or should i say abby out <laughs> so uh, thank you for being on the show yes thank you it was very a pleasure much. for you sharing your stories thank you very much <laughs>